Chocolate. Oh, I only have two of them. This is why I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Why? <laughs> what did you get? What did you get? Oh, 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 oh. You know what's uh, what's contained in those? Yeah. <gasps> what's in them? Uh oh. 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 A fresh one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're not gonna see it. You? You're not gonna see it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. The I will see this. So you can play with it, but I don't like that you didn't tear it up. Oh. So when you finish playing, you put it away. Okay. Uh, I'm just already going to town on it. Oh, sure he is. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look at this absolutely perfect. Like, get, like I, that could not be more perfect. <gasps> so excited. Also watching the new Lindsay Lohan Christmas movie. It's pretty good. Show me your secret. Take a video of the actual table because I worked very hard. You were um, really no, Instagram. Instagram. There what's you, what's you go. Thank you, account? thank you. I don't. Juice, I'm channeling you for my audition, and my the person I'm talking to is named Joanne, so I'm calling her Joe, and I'm substituting you in there. Did you buy the second episode? I got all three. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Yes, I think we can. Uh -oh. I want to play VR too. William, Will, William's fine. He's fine. William, you're gonna do something special. So, Zach, can play with your lightsaber. Just be careful with it. you doing? Mm, it is blurry. It's probably because of the light. My cup, time to. Kids and what actually is. Cry for my 
gorgeous rifle. High performance, like an Olympic athlete. Olympic athlete. All right. Good day, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I have this influencer, blogger, YouTuber named Carly, who has a account called Cooking with Carly, who posts the most delicious looking cookies I've ever seen in my life. It's like, I porn for me. And I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna make some cookies. And I've said that about six times in the last month or so, and today is the day. So today we are making pumpkin snickerdoodles. Sounds delicious. I went and got all of the, excuse me, ingredients that I needed this morning and then completely forgot to buy butter. So my boyfriend was kind enough to go and get butter for me. So let me just quickly show you her, I guess I don't want to, this is cooking with Carly. She's adorable. So we are going to need a half a cup of salted butter. I have everything here, so I'm just gonna hop right to the recipe. Instructions, preheat the oven to 350. We can do that. Oh, first, grab your beverage of choice and let's dive right in. I have two drinks. I have classic Coke, which I don't often drink, but Ian and I got pizza yesterday, so we ordered a Coke with it. And then I also have a coffee with some cinnamon creamer. So good. Delicious. So I got my two coffees going on here and so preheat oven to 350 wonderful and then we're going to line a baking sheet with parchment paper or silicone so I actually have these like silicone baking sheets which is funny because it's not even as big as my baking sheet so I'm just gonna like lay it on top awkwardly and try not to let that mess it up in the bowl of a stand mixer or with an electric hand mixer, which I have, cream together margarine, butter, and sugar until well combined. So I'm gonna make a double recipe. So margarine is half a cup. So I just bought some because we didn't have any. I grew up with margarine, but I, I, I've always used butter as an adult. Okay, so margarine. I'm going to use my super adorable, like funfetti curved spatula. I don't usually say it like that, but <laughs> I um, always say things weird ways. Just like I say beverage, I know it's beverage, guys. I know, I just like saying it weird. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get a cup of margarine. So how are you? How's things? How's your week been? Today's been a little bit of a shit day for me. I ripped my, I sat down on the couch and completely ripped my pajama pants, my sweatpants open, it like right in the ass, ripped her open. And okay, here we have a cup, I think, I hope. That looks great. And I stubbed my toe, and I forgot the butter. I, the shelf broke. Okay, then we're gonna do butter. So I have been softening a little bit right here. So we have a cup of butter. Oh, it almost got on the counter. I'm glad I did it. Do you like my coordinated set? This is uh, from Shein. I love it. I think it's so adorable. Just got butter on me and it's so comfy. I legitimately wore this to the grocery store today with my, my little Aritzia, the only thing I own at Aritzia, like cross satchel. Do one and a quarter cup granulated sugar. So I'm gonna, I had to go buy granulated sugar because the only sugar I have is like fake sugar, like monk fruit or stevia or whatever. Okay, so this is gonna be two and a half cups. It's a lot of sugar. Especially because I'm probably gonna eat almost all of these cookies. Great. Okay, so we're gonna cream this together. I am going to There's my cats. Come on. What is? Are you scared? What are you scared of? We let our cats out into the hallway and sometimes they get scared. I'm watching Atlantis, The Lost Empire. 
good old uh, Michael J. Fox. And I'm going to zip you guys right through this, okay? You know, as someone who doesn't bake often, I find it fascinating. Like, this is like butter and sugar, and it immediately turned like super creamy. I know it's it's not like science or anything, but there we go. Okay, so it says, scrape the sides of the bowl, add in egg, pumpkin puree, corn syrup, and vanilla extract, and mix until combined. Okay, great. You do two eggs. Gorgeous, darling. This does not look very tablespoony. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. And actually, it's like I barely put a dent. Like it's not even that much. Look at the orange bits. Not even very much. One. Oh my gosh. That is also annoying. Two. It sticks to it like honey. Like what corn syrup is like or tastes like? Let's taste it. Let's taste it, shall we? Weird. Never tasted anything like it. It's like not quite honey, not quite as sweet as honey. Kind of tastes like oily honey, like oil turned into honey. Not good. Okay, teaspoon of vanilla extract. Where's my teaspoon? Teaspoon. Teaspoon, there we go. So two teaspoons. I'm gonna combine that. Teaspoon of baking soda. Five cups of flour. Oh, I don't think it's gonna fit all that dough in here. Seriously. Okay. So, tastes delicious. So it says portion the dough. Mmm. Delicious. I feel like you could have more pumpkin though. I think I'm gonna put more pumpkin in. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more pumpkin in. Oh. It's really good. I can't taste the pumpkin, but I'm gonna trust the process because I already added like another tablespoon. Okay, so let me just tidy this up a teensy bit. Okay, so now I'm rolling this portion out dough to two and a half tablespoon portions. I use two scoops from my number 50 scoop. I didn't know they had, it's like a makeup brushes. It's like number 438 Morphe. Um, I didn't know they had cookie scoops, that's cool. Roll into a ball and place on prepared baking sheet. Repeat with the remaining dough in a small boil, boil, in a small boil. Combine the pumpkin pie spice and the sugar mixture. Roll each ball of dough into the cinnamon sugar, pressing the mixture onto the cookie dough and repeat. And making them large because I, I like a good large and in charge spoon. It feels a little sticky, so I'm wondering if I need more flour, but I'm just gonna trust the process. She's the cookie maker, not me. And we are just gonna go for it. We're just gonna go ham. I think I'm gonna do like a test. Maybe we'll do like a test one. Um, and then I have my sugar mixture that I'm gonna dip right here. So it was uh, just sugar and essentially pumpkin pie mix, which I got from Trader Joe's like a hundred million years ago. And I added a little bit of more nutmeg and also a little bit of eggnog spice because they didn't have, I went to go get more pumpkin spice from, don't mind me, 
just like a little level. I went to go get more pumpkin spice from Superstore, but they didn't have any. They did have eggnog spice, so I picked a little bit up. Roll each ball of dough into the cinnamon sugar, pressing the mixture onto the cookie dough. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's so sticky, guys. Just baking sheet. Since I started this YouTube channel, I've realized how... And I knew this before, but I realized how bad I am with kind of finding words for stuff really easily. My boyfriend also has told me that before, so. So I'm gonna put this in, babe, for 11 minutes. I'm gonna shut you off. I'm gonna do a timer for 11 minutes because I need my Google. I need my Google. Hey, Google. See, see you in a sec. Weirdly, I don't think it's sweet enough. That's funny because there's like two and a half cups of sugar in this dough or something like that. And then I literally rolled it in sugar. Rolled it. Very good. But like not overly sweet. And I rolled it in sugar. But delicious. Nice bag. On to checking the next. Um, recipe from her. Thanks, baby. You can stop. 